Hi, and welcome to the Never Cast Off podcast. This is episode 87, and this is Sheila. Hello. <laughs> she got used to what I did last time. I know. Okay, so this, um, she's known as Blue Yarn, or always on social media. Yes. And um, we're coming to you live in Sheila's basement, but it'll be a recording by the time you guys see it. <laughs> yeah, we got a little piece of the pie here. Okay, so... Um, this There's going to be no knitting, this one. Yeah. There's no finished objects, this escapees, no. this episode. Um, If Sheila can only record once, and we're trying to do 30 minutes, we kind of break it up and split it so it's so it's still February 21st in our reality. But I'm sure it's a little bit later for you guys. Right. Um, but we got a winner to announce this episode. We do. We do. We do. And um, we could do another winner. So let me do the winner really quick for winner, what I did. Winner, chicken dinner. So in the Ravelry group, um, this was my new pastime. 5D diamond painting. And there was a thread up in the group to win this. And then you know, all the supplies are with it. Oh, here we go. All the supplies are with it. This is such fun. So a random number generator. I went through and let me take the open the screen up selected number 11 number 11 is rose island crafts which is robin so robin send me a message on ravelry with your address and i will get this potiversary prize in the mail to you and i hope you enjoy it this is such fun it's called 5d diamond painting now, I do have to say the other one, I'd never opened the thread up. So it was to get a happy bag from the, uh, my Etsy shop. Thank God for bags. <laughs> she got Lucy. So basically, this is a project bag, but the fabric, it's all happy, 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 happy. And then there's a nice um, fancy charm pull. So tell us what you're happy about. I'm happy about being breathing and waking up every morning that's what i'm happy, I'm happy about yeah i have a kitty that <laughs> likes me oh and so what i'm gonna do <clears throat> since i dropped the ball is um you can only win this if you comment on the youtube comments that you're happy so you will win <clears throat> this happy bag and then i'm also because i dropped the ball i will also throw in this sheet bag <laughs> so if you're happy because you won this bag, you might give this to one of your knitting friends or keep it for yourself. So <clears throat> if you're interested, comment below. I'm happy. And that's all you need to know. So next time I podcast with Debbie, I'll draw a winner and you'll get this bag. And you'll get the sheep bag. Okay. okay. I'm done. Oh, <laughs> such a lover. She is. Such Aww. a lover. <clears throat> Do you remember how many people posted? <laughs> Um, there was 11, but I can continue with my bag really quick because okay. I got a new bag. <gasps> no way. So I was on, <laughs> I watched the Joey Scarf podcast and you should probably should too with Linda Grace. She's amazing. She's a knitter. Um, she bought, she won some sheep at an auction. Three Aww. little sheep. So what do you name three little sheep? Larry, Moe, and Curly. If you watch the Three Stooges, I'm probably given my age. You know that they were nothing just but a bunch of cut-ups. So this was a total surprise. Joey Scarf, Larry Curly Moe, named the sheep. She sent me this bag. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so adorable. Yeah, and I then gonna, inside the bag, are <clears throat> getting caught on my... I got a skein of yarn Oof. from Toad Hollow Yarns. Oh, and it's just so pretty. Feel that. Oh, it's almost as soft And then as she as included can. two it's of so these pretty. little minis. They go so nice. I know. And then guess what else? What else? A finger roll <gasps> counter. Oh, you love those. Uh, and then guess what else? <gasps> tea. Oh. I have pure organic green tea. I have two peppermints. So I will share with oh, you. Oh, thank you. Peppermint tea. And... Oh, wait, there's more. Uh oh. Ooh. Aren't those 
is just adorable. They are. Little progress keepers. They're blingy. And then, hello. Oh, <laughs> that is so cute. This cute little ball sack. Oh, Did okay. She just say that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yarn bowl. <laughs> we'll say it correctly. But... All I did was name the sheep. Aww. And all I was expecting was, th was this. And that was very generous. This was so generous. Yeah. Have you um, watched her podcast, Joey Scarf? Not yet. I believe she's on the East Coast. Um, if you I, haven't checked her out, she's got a YouTube channel. And she's also in with the, um, the Netflix make-along. So if you watch oh. Netflix... Um, and you want to make something that relates to a show on Netflix, mm -hmm. you can enter it. Oh, cool. Larry Curly Mo. And I was wondering, do they have the Three Stooges on YouTube? I mean, on Netflix? I don't know. I'd have to look for that. I wouldn't mind watching oh. a couple episodes. What is it? Okay, I've just found Siri. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. She's got no clue what she's talking about. Yeah. What do you mean you found Siri? Siri? Hi, is is Debbie home? <laughs> Siri, is Debbie home and can she come out and play? She's Are the three like, stooges on Netflix? She don't know. She doesn't know. What are you doing over there? Hmm? Are the three stooges on Netflix? She's like, no. <clears throat> They're not. She's still thinking. Because she's too young to remember. No, okay, the problem is... Siri's too young. <clears throat> she's a millennial. She says share. She's, no, she needs to be an old-timer to right remember. Be right with you. No, she's a millennial. She needs to be okay. an old-timer. What about when we used to watch, um, like, the Saturday or Sunday thing with the guy... Oh my God! What was his name? You watch that creepy show every Sunday. Oh, it'll come to me I in a minute. I probably wasn't allowed. No. Yeah, Alrighty. creepy wasn't something that I was allowed. Alrighty. Okay, so now so we're going to talk about yarn. All three of us like yarn. She's like, you like yarn? I like yarn. No, she don't really like yarn. She Fatty does. likes yarn. The other one, she's a yarn biter. This one, she, she just like, mm, hold me, Aww. love me, cuddle me. She's like okay. a big baby. Okay, so I ended up calling up. Oh. <laughs> she's, she's, she's trying to make a friend. I ended up calling up Stonehenge Fiber. Can you lift this pile for me? She I calls can't. the fiber mill like she knows somebody there. Do you know somebody there? No. Look at this. Yeah. And what they say, oh, hi, Debbie. Well, yeah, when I told them my name, they said, oh, hi. Seriously? <laughs> Make friends <laughs> with your local fiber mill and look what they'll send you. <laughs> you just give them some money. They'll send you whatever you want. Oh, God, okay. This is nice. So, yeah. What is this? Wool? Straight wool? It's the, the melons. They're shepherd's wool. Shepherd's wool? Yeah. And solid colors. Yeah, so I tried to get two colors that were just a lot of it. And then this way I'd be able to make whatever. samples of whatever. I just am finding that the lighter colors are better. Because it shows the stitch pattern. Yeah. Yep, it does. So, yeah, that was my... Oh, so I'm not sure if I talked about... Did I tell everybody how I my husband drove? An hour and a half each way to get a fleece of Rambouillet. <laughs> no, you did not tell that. Oh, my husband was like a rock star that day. So we drove an hour and a half each way to meet a shepherd. Um, you bought how many pounds of Rambouillet? Seven pounds, 10 ounces. Was that the whole sheep? Yeah. Wow. It's a lot of fleece. Yeah. And then um, when I called Stonehenge, um, I asked him about it and it ended up, you, to make it into yard, you need five pounds, and it has to be um, at least three and a half inches because of how they machines um, work. their machines. So I was still over five pounds once it was washed, but some of it was like 
two and a half. So it had three. two pounds of dirt? Yeah. Actually, Ooh. it should have been a little bit more than that. It's still quite greasy, but the dirt, most of the dirt's gone. So okay. there were a lot of second cuts on that, but that's okay. It happens. So um, it's not going to Stonehenge fiber. No. I started trying to. Um, I was. I started spinning it, but I was hoping to bring it, but I just didn't nope. get to it through, through it all. So, nope. Lucy's happy, though. I do have mine. <clears throat> so my fin came back from Stonehenge that I bought in Allegan. I didn't spin it all, but I can't recommend it. They're processing enough. Um, Somebody, a friend of mine, used a different fiber mill, and we split this. And she was very, she was very disappointed on um, what she got back compared to what I got. Um, but I, these are singles, um, so this is the fin right here. It's very soft. It's very soft, and I think I might leave it as a single. It spun really thin. It's very it nice. drafted really nice, um, and it's very airy, very airy. That's very nice. Yep. So I'm not sure how much is here, but I still have a lot left. But I got tired of spinning gray because um, I know I watch um, Sharon on Moms with Yarn. And she'll be spinning and she'll say, like, you just get tired of looking at the same color. Don't you get tired of looking at the same color? And then after a while, you're like, I'm just, I'm just oh. like done with it. No. No, you don't. I'm not quite there yet. I just just get tired of spinning gray, so I'm like, okay, okay. I'm done with gray. What I do get it's tired gotta be of something else. You know what? Actually, I might have to retract and say, you know what? Yeah, a lot of times I just want to do something else. And then yeah, you just get tired of it. So then after that, what did I do? I switched to pink and gray. <laughs> <laughs> and this is from Victoria Station, and she's local to Michigan, and it's Lincoln and Border Luster. And this was eight ounces I got from um, Victoria oh, Station. Cool. I think we got this in Chelsea. So this, I got two skate. These are singles now. These are just singles. So it's like, um, I wouldn't say a dark gray, but like a smoky gray with like a, a pink. And it, this is very soft too. I, I haven't washed any of these either. Um, That's very nice. Yep. But this is very nice. It's it's a very airy, you know, it wasn't like all knots and nebs and bumps and lumps. And so this come out pretty good, too. So, yeah, I get tired of doing that. It's like, well, but you don't get tired of doing different colors. You know, after doing the same color over and over what and I, over. What happens with me is I get impatient because it's not done yet. Oh, okay. And I, I just, I have so many things I want to try and do something else. Oh, okay. so I, it's not that I'm tired. I'm just You're not, not done, done with this one yet. And I want to do the other one. Mm -hmm. um, I totally get that. I love plying. You do? I love plying. What'd you ply? Um, yeah, I got some. What is this? This one is Merino. That's Merino? This one's Merino. I have three pounds. And that's a chain ply? Yep, it is. No. Double two. Is it? It's two, yeah, so it's a chain ply. They call it a chain ply. When it looks like a barber pole, like this. Oh, they call it chain, chain ply. Chain Chain ply. Okay, yeah. Yep, that's a chain ply. That's what they okay. call it. So I want to make this into a um, jacket. You got more than that, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. This isn't even the first pound. No? I have three pounds. So this is chunky or worsted? Chunky. Chunky. It'll make a nice quick jacket. Yeah. But I want to wait till it's all done before I start doing it. Yeah. Very so nice. So it's, it's twisting a little bit, so it's not 100% straight, whatever. But, yeah, it's it's amazing that how many different things, how many different... What are you using for your string to tie them? Um, or it's, just little cotton thread? It's not cotton. I should have taken cotton. Cotton would be smart. But it's just um, one of the ones that I had from wherever. I just had some extra yarn that I wanted to just throw on there and not waste. It's like a little cone. So, yeah, I have um, more than three times this. So I have more than enough. There you go. So That'll be nice. Make yeah. a nice sweater. Yeah. I keep finding. I have a, 
a peachish sweater. And then now I have this one. <laughs> and then I'm going to do this one. <laughs> so you'll match. I'm going to have a lot of, yeah, this one's a little, it's different though. You'll match. But, so that's one that I did. Then this one. Which one's that? Feel it. Oh my goodness. Isn't that squishy? It's like a marshmallow. What okay. is this now? Silk? So, yeah, it's, um, is it tussle silk mixed with, please tell me the numbers. There, it's. Did you put a little sticker in there or a tag or? <sighs> no tag. Okay. Um, what half of it is merino bamboo silk. Okay. And the other half is silk mi mixed with, I think it was polypay. And this was the one when I when we when I, I told Benita what it was. She goes, "Oh, that must be so squishy." So, what's the squishy factor? Would you say on this one? What's the best? Let's say ten. Oh, this is like twenty. <laughs> this is really really I mean, nice. Oh. That is really nice. So, it it was half a pound of each, and then I plied them together. Um, ooh. I got some, okay, and half percent black alpaca. Oh, from a little spot in there? Yeah. That's how you'll know what's yours. <laughs> <laughs> so what I, th there's a couple things that are really cool about this. Because it has the different wool, it has the actually two different types of silk, and it has bamboo. It's plant fiber, wait, plant fiber and then silk whatever you want to call the earthworm so it's just it's a different it you can dye different parts of it so it picks up different colors so if i were to acid dye the um, animals um the plant fibers will pick up maybe some of the color but it really won't like adhere to as much as the other one so um i have to then dye the plant whichever one i pick first and i can dye it a different color to right. try and pick up some of the different stuff and i just it's so special and it's so squishy yeah. i just can't it is uh, on a it's bad like day it's like a nice pillow it is on a bad day you just pick it up and it's like the world's a happier place <laughs> okay so then oh there's a tag yeah <laughs> Yes, there's a tag on this one. <laughs> so what do I do? I put a note to myself. Remember, gauge matters. Tight stitches, but not stiff. I'm like, okay, dweeb. Okay, so I did black. black this what? is this is all alpaca. That is. This is all alpaca. I did black, and I did. Um, I don't even know. Maybe a pound, and then I mixed. Then I took a tan alpaca, and then I dyed it. And then I plied them together. <laughs> okay, this is more fun than it should be. Okay, so that's very nice though. It's it's got um, I used, and it's still chain ply too. Yep, still yeah. chain ply. Yep. Ain't it nice though how it gives like that barber pull? Yeah, it's I. And then I ended up having more of the this color left over, so it always I just as plied a it to itself. And it always happens. I just didn't care. I figured it could be a trim or whatever. I haven't. I'm not sure. Oh, there's like a pound of each of them, so this is about two pounds. A so pound of each. I think. Probably. We'll find out. Not bad. Let me look the napkins here. No, it's a little less than two pounds because I think what is it, four fifty? That's a pound of grams. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was way off. It's five fifteen grams, so it's a little over one pound, not nowhere near two pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so not oh. bad. Not oh, you measure that one. What the hey? Let's see. I got. Because I've been spinning a lot, I have some Gail's art. Oh, and I have some spun right round mixed BFL in the color temper. 
So this and Gail's art created this. So that is so pretty. This is chain plied. I don't think I've, I, I haven't washed any of the fibers, but this is chain plied. It's very soft. And like Debbie mentioned, you have some left on your um, bobbin. So I did the um, Navajo ply on this, which makes it a, a lot thicker because you're just using one bobbin. Um, it makes it more round though. Yeah, it is more round. But you're just using that one bobbin to ply the yarn as you're pulling it through. So basically the colors kind of stuck together. I don't really care for this. I like how it looks, but I don't particularly care for working it up. So this would be the same as what Debbie has here, except that's chain plied. And then see how, what the difference is when you use colors. And to then me, ply this, it on is, yourself. this is so much softer than this. Is it? See, but I don't know, maybe because I'm used to this, this chain ply. Oh, I'm taking your note. Yeah, I got to get my note back in the right one. But this was really nice. I really, I mean, I've spun, spun Gail's art before. And I've had some spun right around before also, but this was a merino, silk, and a BFL. Ooh. So this is merino, silk, and BFL. So it's like, it's super soft. Not as soft it's... as your cotton ball over there. <laughs> but it is really, really soft. Yeah, it's very nice. So then what did I do? I dug in some of my 19 bags that I bought from Dyed in the Wool. So every time we go to a festival and we meet, it, we meet up with the fiber pusher, I always look at her board and get like two ounces of this, four ounces of that, because I want to figure out what I like and what I don't like. So I've been spinning a lot of the fiber. So I spun up some Lincoln Folk, and the sheep's name was Ruth. Oh, cool. So this was two ounces. And a, <clears throat> and this is a definite yes. I will def this spun like a dream. These haven't been washed yet because I still got my kinks in there. <clears throat> but this was really, really nice. So then after I did that, I spun up some Border Luster. And the name was Snow. And this was a yes, too. I loved how this spun up. I'm not exactly... The way that it feels, I'm not sure if I apply it. But this is also two ounces, too. So I need to find out more information about the sheep and like what what these go together with because these are all two ounces. So here's some poly pay as Debbie was talking about earlier. And it really, see how it like keeps to itself? Like it's not as kinked as the other one. So that was two ounces of poly pay. Was this compared a, a to this? Or no? um, the poly pay spun up nice, but I didn't put a yes or a no on it. Okay. I just didn't. I spun up some Cheviot and Perindale. This is a no. I did not really? like. Really? I did not like spinning this at all. Not to say that the fiber is not good or useful for something, but I want to get fibers that I like to spin. I just didn't care for the spin. And that could be me, you know? It feels very, like, bouncy. Mm-hmm. And then I spun up some Icelandic. Yeah. Fiona. This was really, really nice to spin. Yeah? Yeah. I'm not sure where she gets her stuff processed, but this was two ounces of Icelandic. And I noticed on the Icelandic, see how you got all these little furs? They're like, okay, the reason compared to this, like there's no Haze halo or, yeah. or fuzzies or like, um, With what's that one you don't like? What's that one you don't like? Oh. I can't remember now. You guys goat. know. Yeah. The goat. And, no, not Angora. Mohair. Mohair. It's mohair. But this has like a haze or like you can see the little sticking up compared to, I don't know, this one here. Like it kind of sticks to itself. Just little bunches. Okay. I have to stop there. I have a story about Icelandic wool. Okay, so I had to take a test in biology. I know this isn't about biology. It's hard for me to talk about anything without talking about biology just because it's taking over my life or so it feels. So um, I was taking a biology test and I was really stressing about it. So I tried to do whatever it 
was that I could to try and distract my brain to try and be creative or something so that I would calm me the heck down so I could just take the test and do as good as um, I, I could. So what I did is I took some Icelandic wool and I tied it around my pencil. And so as I was taking the test, I had it in my hand. What is that? This is Icelandic wool, and it's partly felted because my hands were sweating. Why is it black? <laughs> okay, so this is the way it was. So this is how It looks long... like two little poop balls. It's not. Seriously? Really. It's gray on the bottom. This is gray wool. It's clean. Because me looking at it not knowing, I would say like you have two little fibery balls of poop. Well, great. Now I know what everybody <laughs> was thinking about. They're me. like, oh, there's she's, this crazy she's old whittling, lady sitting she's in the front row. Her hand. <laughs> so, what happens with Iceland? Let me see. Does that not look like she's housing poo? Oh, come on. Seriously. I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> okay, anyway, as okay, long as it helps. So, you. so, this is how long Icelandic fiber is. The one that I got, anyways. So, um, you see it's partly felted. So what ends up happening is the long pieces are more coarse and the shorter they are, the, the softer they get. Mm -hmm. You can actually, when they're not felted because my hands were sweaty, um, you can pull them apart and have them at different lengths and stuff like that. But, um, so they're gonna have a lot of halos and the shorter the um, pieces of fur are, the softer it is, but that that actually you're going to have some of the, the really short ones mm -hmm. that would um, be su subject to pilling really easy. So the last one I did, and you're going to be surprised at this one, really, is a Shetland called Skittles. Oh, and I said, nope, too slick. And once you know, I found a bag of Shetland in my basement that needs to be washed. And it's brown, so I'm hoping that it's different than maybe this sheep. I don't know, but I said nope. This doesn't feel like mine at all. Nope. This was a Shetland named Skittles, okay. so I didn't care cool. for that. Huh. So with all of these here, at least I'm collecting a list of I all of these. These are all two ounces a piece. I, I think love I've, my Shetland. I think between all of this, the fin... And then the Lincoln and then Gail's art, I think I've spun close to 40 ounces. Oh, cool. Oh, wait, 40. 40. 40 ounces. Okay. Because right oh, here, wow. right here is 12 ounces. And then this was the eight, two eights. So okay. close, well, this close is, to about 40. This is three but pounds. I, but if we're going to the fiber show, Good. I want to know what I want to buy so I can have my yes, I want to buy that and no, I. Mm. I don't care for that. So I got it all in the bag. See, here's one of my bags. I took the thing off. This is two ounces. Yay. So I have, I think I have eight more bags to go through um, a fiber that I bought from Dyed in the Wool. Oh, cool. So I want to work through all of um, Benita's bags so I can figure out what I like and what I don't like. Okay. So that is all that I've done. Oh. For spinning this week about a week ago or yeah about a week ago I'm like you know I really need to get a couple more books that have just stitches in it just I need some more variety and figure out what I'm doing and everything like that right and I go to my mom's and she goes oh before you go your your sister-in-law gave you really just just cuz out of the blue Oh, nice. They are amazing. And I mean, I already got stickers in them and I, it's, they're incredible. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at all and those And I was thinking, I'm like, you know, I really need to get another one. And then the next day, bam, my sister-in-law's, you know. So, I mean, it, it was already at my mom's house and it's just like, oh yeah, she's, she doesn't want them anymore. I, I she do. knits? Yeah. Wow. She's been knitting a lot longer than me. Her work, her stitches, very uniform. She, she used to want them she, no more? She's like, yeah, I, I just, I'm not going to use them. So I know you know somebody who'll use them, and I, I've been going through them like crazy. 
Good Look how you. felted it is. Did you see? She's like, yeah, I don't want to touch it. No, I don't want to touch it because it looks like you're two bags of poo. It's not poo. It's felted wool. Did anybody look at you? Well, you're in the front. Who's going to look at you? Nobody. The person next to me? Yeah. You know, no, I don't care. So you're like fidgeting with it and fidgeting and fidgeting? No, I had it, um, let me find a... Okay, so around the pen, I'm sorry, like you guys really want to see what I did with this. Okay, so there's a little loop in here somewhere and I can't find it. So what I did is at the top, I had it like that. And so when I was writing, I had it in my hand and I was just writing. Uh, okay, yeah, that's like a security blanket. Whatever! <laughs> <laughs> I don't care! That's what happens when you turn 50. Okay. Um, that's it. I don't have anything else except... Um, oh, you got to draw your winner for your free pattern. I do. Okay. What? Okay, let's try and get Siri to work. <laughs> so, it's for uh, the Potiversary... Pig? Pick a random number between 1 and 11. And they had um, 11 entries in, so I will tell you. Who is it? I don't know about that series. Checking on that. Okay. I found this on the web. For, it's, for the part of the pick, pick a random number between 1 and 11. <laughs> She's a millennial. I swear. Okay, Lynn. Okay. Pick a random number between 1 and 11. It's 8. 8. 8 is Lady Fernico. Oh, you get one of my patterns. Lady Fernico. Oh, congratulations. Yes. yes. Definitely PM me and um, tell she me which one. pattern of mine you want, and it's yours. How cool is that? Yeah, Lady Fernico. And thanks for everybody that posted. It was really Absolutely. nice. I read all of them. It was great. Yeah. It was great. And if you want this, remember, you got to put, get happy, I'm happy, say something happy to get these um, on YouTube. On YouTube. Okay. And we already drew the other prize in the previous episode, so you know who you are, PM I think it was this beginning of this one. Nope. Was it? Was it uh, the last one? This one or I'm last so one. I'm so confused. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> At least it does for me. Whatever. It happens okay. for me, too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and if you're new, thanks for joining us. And if you um, are a repeat um, offender... <laughs> 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 Welcome back and um <laughs> a repeat offender. <laughs> yeah. You know that was seven. And if you want to follow us on Instagram, the links are on our YouTube channel. They are. Um you can um click on there and Debbie's patterns are on Ravelry. Yep. Under Deb's Destiny. I think it's under my name, Debbie Hostos. Okay. So you can just you can just look there. She's yeah. got a lot of cute patterns over mm -hmm. there. Thank you. Otherwise, um, we'll see you in a little while. Yeah, hopefully in the next two months or next month there'll be two more patterns out there. Well, you got a breathe know. study in February, right? Yes, yeah, so I still have another one to go. It's going to be on um, Merino, and then I think it was Shetland next month. Okay, so this month is Merino. If you're Marino. interested in Merino. Yep. So um, I'll get that out. Um, yeah, I'll get that out. So have a wonderful week and talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.